It all started 25 years ago with my father. Ten years later, he decided to approach one of Denmark's leading scientists. Back in the early 90s, I was contacted by a farmer from Langeland. His name was Farmer Hansen, and uh, he called me at the hospital and said, well, I have some very interesting uh, ideas about rosehip. Could I come and, and visit your office? And um, I invited him, and he told me about his ideas. And to me, they seem to be too fantastic. In a special subtype of rosehip, there should be the possibility to cure nearly any disease in the world. So after two very interesting hours, I uh, decided to, uh, to finish the discussion, telling him that it was very interesting, but possibly I did not believe in all of it. Then two to three years uh, passed by, and uh, one uh, Monday afternoon, I was called by his son, Torbjörn Hansen. Well, could you please help me to find out whether this powder does work or whether it does not work? So we decided to do research, and initially we did a small research on 18 uh, humans who were giving the powder in a very high dose. And we were looking into the immune system, because I had an idea that maybe the immune system was the place where we should start to look. And well, you could ask me, why, why did you choose the immune system? And this was because I frankly told Torbjörn Hansen, how could you persuade me that this powder works? And he said, well, around 5,000 humans have written me letters and thanked me for using the powder. They are telling me that they feel better when they take the powder. And I said, well, Torbjörn Hansen, 5,000 people, it's a lot. As a doctor, I have received maybe 500 letters from thankful patients. Could I be allowed to see these letters? And he brought them all to me, and I had a secretary to run through these different letters. And it was clear cut to me that the immune system was the place where we should start. And after running the uh, 18 patients who received a high amount of rosehip powder from this particular subtype that grow on Langeland, I was even more convinced that we should continue our research. Always the inventor, Farmer Hansen perfected a method for planting standardised rosehips, customising machinery that inserts the seedlings into the ground at precise intervals through plastic, which means weeds haven't got a chance and hence no need for pesticides. More than 135 hectares are now professionally farmed in the ideal climate of Scandinavia to keep up with an ever-increasing demand. And there are many farmers on the waiting list who see the enormous potential of growing rosehip vital full time. My father then developed and patented a unique production process, which is so important to keeping all the vitamins and minerals active in the finished product. The whole rosehip is dried and powdered in a way we keep a closely guarded secret. Over many years, through careful testing and measuring, we have perfected the process by controlling such things as the speed and power of the crushing, sunlight levels, low temperature and humidity, all this to leave you with the most potent product possible. Well, I got involved in this uh, project as early as 1998 uh, when Dr. Winter contacted me uh, and asked me whether I would be interested to look into the mechanism of action. We went ahead in a very systematic way, uh, first uh, looking at the extract, the water extract, which was prepared from the rosy powders that the patients have been receiving, that Dr. Winter has done a lot of work on. And then very early on, we identified that the uh, extract from the rosehip from Langeland had an anti-inflammatory activity. Uh, Dr. Winter has gone into details of the clinical aspects of this, and then we uh, go into the uh, clinical trials which have been carried out. But this fitted beautifully with the clinical observations that were made by Dr. Winter in Denmark, and then another independent research team in Norway that, again, uh, you might hear about it, that the anti-inflammatory mechanism was uh, reduction in the migration of inflammatory cells.
Mr. Karazmi had developed a procedure for analysing drugs used to treat arthritis, drugs such as ibuprofen, better known as Nurofen. He concluded that the effect of Rosipvital was just as effective a pain reliever as man-made chemical-based drugs. Numerous clinical trials specific to Rosipvital have shown such benefits for osteoarthritis sufferers as less joint pain and inflammation, better sleeping patterns, improved mobility, energy and motivation. The ongoing research has already identified one active ingredient in Rosip Vital with huge potential. And the research continues. And I'm sure that in a short while we, have, we will have a lot of different angles going. This powder has come here to stay. It's a very, very interesting new perspective.